Hey guys, I'm Matt Joseph Diaz, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk About, where we tackle the facts, myths, and cultural significance of different body image issues. Today we're going to talk about cosmetic and plastic surgery, which are actually two very different things. Yeah, this is going to be really educational. Like, we're about to learn a lot about cutting people up and stuff, so strap in, it's about to get weird. I'm so glad you could join me on this kind of gross adventure. I swear it's going to be my wedding vows one day. Diane, I love you so much. I... I'm so glad you could join me in this kind of gross adventure. But like I was saying before, cosmetic and plastic surgery are actually two different things that aren't interchangeable. Plastic surgery focuses mostly on reconstruction of damaged tissue. So anything that might have been hurt in a disease or in an accident, people who need skin grafts after really bad burns, people who need their breasts reconstructed after they've lost in a breast cancer, that kind of thing. But cosmetic surgery is focused strictly on appearance. There are over 50 types of cosmetic surgery, going from nose jobs to facelifts to breast lifts, all different types. If you want to put it really simply, plastic surgery is about repair Repairing something that was damaged and cosmetic surgery is about your whole hashtag aesthetic. Obviously plastic and cosmetic surgery is such a wide topic that I can't cover everything. So I'm going to give you five facts and five myths. Fact number one, plastic surgery actually goes back as far as ancient Rome. Way back then men were terrified of having scars in their back because it depicted that a soldier had turned his back on the battlefield and so they used ancient plastic surgery techniques to get rid of them. Fact number two, by a pretty wide margin the most popular cosmetic surgeries all over the world are nose reshaping and breast augmentation. Fact number three, World War II had a really big impact in our knowledge of plastic surgery. Because of all the people who were hurt back then, we learned so much about tissue health, antibodies, microsurgery, even rebuilding entire limbs. Fact number four, in 2011, there were 13.8 million cosmetic surgeries done in America alone. But a big majority of these procedures were non-invasive, like Botox. Fact number five, and probably the weirdest one, cosmetic and plastic surgeons are actually responsible for shatterproof windshields. Back in the 1930s, a bunch of plastic surgeons and emergency medical physicians came together to create windshields that would prevent facial lacerations during crashes. So I guess you can thank Dr. Oz next time you get in a crash and your face doesn't get all cut up. Now we're gonna mention five common misconceptions and myths when it comes to cosmetic and plastic surgery. Rumor number one, not just women get cosmetic surgery. Even though women are still the majority, since 1997 there's been a 106% increase in males getting cosmetic and plastic surgery. The most common types for men are nose jobs, eyelid lifts, and liposuction. Rumor number two, I don't know who actually thinks this, but breast implants do not increase your chance of getting breast cancer. The Institute of Medicine found no link between breast implants or the development or recurrence of breast cancer. However, it is important that you keep checking for breast cancer the same way you would if you didn't have implants. Self-exams, physician's exams, uh, mammograms, that kind of thing. I don't know who would think that breast implants cause cancer. That sounds like a conspiracy theorist. Breast implants cause cancer. Also, Obama is a lizard person from the middle of the earth and jet fuel can't melt steel beams, obviously. Rumor number three, fat actually can't come back after liposuction. When you're born, your body stops making fat cells. There's a definite number of them. It's kind of like balloons. They just kind of get bigger and smaller depending on what you put in your body. Liposuction literally removes fat cells in specific targeted areas. So once they're gone, they're gone forever. But liposuction isn't just an easy way to lose weight. Your surgeons will actually ask you to lose as much weight as you possibly can before the procedure happens. Rumor number four, it is actually safe to breastfeed with implants. Studies at the Mayo Clinic have shown that even though silicone could be absorbed into the breast milk, it's not enough to be harmful for your baby and it's actually still the best nutrition option for them. And rumor number five, not all cosmetic surgeries will result in really bad scars. Obviously with the most invasive kinds of surgery there's gonna be scarring, but for the most part cosmetic and plastic surgeons have figured out really good ways to hide them. Scars from breast augmentations get hidden in the armpits, scars from tummy tucks get hidden below the underwear line, even scars from facelifts will get hidden in the hairline. Now obviously with all this talk of cosmetic surgery we have to cover the controversy surrounding it. People seem very quick to judge and qualify when they think it's okay for somebody else to get cosmetic surgery. This whole thing can be really hazy and difficult to to figure out when it's okay to get cosmetic surgery and when it's not. So I created a little game out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of When Is Plastic Surgery Okay? I'm your host, Maddie D. Oh, thank you, thank you. For all you lovely folks playing at home, here's how the game works. I'm gonna name a scenario where someone might want cosmetic surgery and you decide whether or not it's okay. Are you ready? First question. Daniel has lost 150 pounds over the past two years, but he struggles with excess skin that can't be dealt with through diet and exercise. So recently he's looked into getting a tummy tuck. Is cosmetic surgery okay? The answer is yes, because he's worked very hard and deserves to have the body he's been struggling for. On to the next question. Catherine likes the way she looks, but she wants to get eyelid surgery because she feels like her eyelids are droopier than she'd want them and she'd feel prettier if she got them looked at. So she's recently looked into getting a blepharoplasty. Is cosmetic surgery okay? The answer is yes, because Catherine understands she still has value now even though she wants to do something to help improve her appearance. Steven is a transgender male who really wants to get cosmetic surgery so his body on the outside matches the way he feels on the inside. 
is cosmetic surgery okay? The answer is yes, because he deserves to be the person he feels like he actually is. Janet is a gorgeous and lovely woman who was born with A cup breasts, and she always felt like she'd be more confident if she got bigger ones. So recently she decided to get breast implants, and she has a consultation next week. Is cosmetic surgery okay? The answer is yes, because Janet is a goddamn adult who can make her own decisions. And quite frankly, if Janet wants bigger breasts, smaller breasts, or no breasts at all, I don't understand why anybody would care because it's literally nobody's problem except hers. Cosmetic surgery is always okay as long as people are doing it for the right reasons, because they want to. You don't get to qualify when it's okay for someone else to make an aesthetic change that they've always wanted. People give cosmetic surgery so much crap because people are changing their bodies, but we change our bodies all the time. The fact that I dyed my hair doesn't mean I hate the hair that God gave me or whatever. It's an aesthetic choice I made because I thought it would make me feel happier and more confident. And guess what? I was right because this hair is dope. If you personally don't like cosmetic surgery, that's fine. Don't get cosmetic surgery. If you don't like facelifts, don't have a facelift. If you don't like women with fake breasts, don't get fake breasts. It's literally not your problem if you don't want it to be. But in no way do you have the right to police people who decide to do something different for themselves because they want to, because it'll make them happier. Cosmetic surgery is not good or bad. It's just a thing. It's a medical process that we invented. We ascribe meaning to it based on the reasonings behind why we do it. Body positivity isn't saying, oh, I'm perfect so I never have to change. Body positivity is saying, I understand that I have value and I have worth the way I am now. That no body is a wrong body, but any choices I make to change my my appearance or my look, I'm doing out of love for myself and not out of shame or fear of being judged. Any change you make to your appearance, if you dye your hair, if you change your style, if you get cosmetic surgery, it's all about one thing, growth. It's understanding that I am great the way I am and that no body is a wrong body, but I want to be more and I want to be better and this is what I think will make me better. I understand that with the media and with tabloids and with e-network, it can be really easy to get jaded and tired of seeing stuff about cosmetic surgery everywhere. But if we want to be body positive, we have to make a safe space for people to grow and thrive and do the weird things they want to do. You're not here to be a judge for other people. If someone wants to get cosmetic surgery because they'll feel more attractive or comfortable or confident, you're here to either support them or get out of their way. Let people grow the way they want to grow. Let people change the way they want to change as long as they're doing it for the right reasons, out of love for themselves. If you want to get a nose job because people are bullying you and calling you ugly because your nose is too big, or if you want implants because guys have shamed you for your breasts being too small, I want you to stop. Look at these people who are judging you. They're wrong and they're always going to be wrong because there's nothing wrong with your body. They don't want you to better yourself. They want you to feel ashamed. You're never going to be good enough for them, so stop trying to meet their standards. The only way to beat their game is to stop playing. But if you want a nose job because you feel like you'd be even more attractive with a different nose, or if you want implants because you felt like you'd be confident with bigger boobs, do do it. Don't let anybody shame you into surgery and don't let anybody shame you out of surgery if you're getting it. Do your thing. Embrace your weird. Change your style. Do whatever it is you want to do. Just understand that you have value now and everything else is good. Okay, I think I've preached enough for today. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, make sure to share this video if you can. That would really help out a lot. I'll have a new video coming up soon. Um, find all my social media links down there. Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, my official website, mattressofdiaz.com. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, and always remember, Tall or short, fat or thin, you deserve to love the body you're in. Got Chuck song with San Laron, gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty. Too high, hot damn. <laughs>